This is the real deal. This is about testing heart. When do you get to test your heart ever? If you're not willing to give it all, then do not continue. What I want to talk about is leadership. What we teach here is simple, but it's not easy to apply. In fact, you just before this class, you lost another teammate. Okay, Mr. Ford. He could not cross that chasm. Um, did he lack the courage? Maybe. Don't know. You're all going through an individual journey. You all have different things going on inside of you. Do I really want to be here? What am I going to get out of this? My hip is hurting. You know, what, what does that mean? I can't do it. Yes, you can. Just can't do it this long. We're here to help you through this. We're part of your team. We're giving you some guiding values and ethics. We're providing the context of the communication. Our, our communication is to help you learn. Most of us are BUDS instructors, so we model it just off the camp. Um, obviously, the, the goal here is not to get people to quit. They're going to quit regardless. In BUDS, the goal is to get them to quit. Here, it's a little different. You, you go on the verge of that abuse, but taking it back, as soon as you see a guy breaking, you go to him and you say, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You just got to think about it. It's going to be over soon. So it's all about getting them to that limit without pushing them past that limit of, of uh, mental torment. So the guys that decide to, to stay with it and continue, it's as close as they'll ever get to that, to that training. Here, here's the, here's the, the God's honest truth. You're not one of the guys out there that I'm focusing on. You're not one of the guys that's drawing our attention for a guy who's not putting out, okay? Yeah. You are in the you know, high, high middle to at the front of the pack. So from my opinion, you have all the physical gifts you need to do what you need to do here. And what's happening right now is your mind's playing tricks on you. Just having the ability to bring people together toward a common mission is not enough. We want to live by a, a specific code, and that code embodies certain values. Values that are meaningful to us and important to human beings, right, trying to live a good life. Values such as courage, right, honor, integrity. These are values that are important to understand your true nature. So all this money just finish this, this bad boy off so that when you go back to being a firefighter paramedic, you got that, that notched up, that notch in your belt, and you say, hey, now, now I'm coming back here. It doesn't mean I'm changing careers or I'm totally you know, blowing up my current lifestyle, but I'm going to get more out of my current lifestyle knowing that I've passed something as, as challenging as that. Values. How do we get here? Uh, there's some prerequisites, okay? And these will sound pretty obvious to you, okay? But um, I call it the first premise, developing self-awareness, your physical body so that you can lead from the front, developing your emotional control so you don't spout off and hurt somebody in the heat of the moment, developing the spiritual strength to be that grounding source for those around you is happening is we're setting ourselves on a path to self-mastery, right? You don't need to be at self-mastery to be a leader. Self-mastery, you know, it's upward spiral of gaining new skills and knowledge, gaining new skills and knowledge, new awarenesses, and every step of the way, I'm a leader and a follower, I'm a leader and a follower, I'm a leader and a follower, and I'm a leader and a follower, all the way to self-mastery when I'm still a leader and a follower. Again, like I said earlier, it's the small decisions made many, many times, not the big ones that count. Our lives are the sum total of small decisions made either well or poorly. And along this path, we become leaders because we earn the right, we earn the trust, we master ourselves. 
That's warrior leadership. To not leave with any regret. Okay. If you feel right now that you're going to regret leaving, then honor that and, and don't leave. You have two minutes to decide. Thank you. Okay. We've had a pretty incredible uh, start to the event. Uh, we've lost four people already. Actually, I think five. Two folks have quit. We've had three, uh, three people leave because of some sort of injury. Um, nothing that they did here, but things that they brought, brought with them to the camp. We're currently in a session basically to keep them moving. One of the things that we, um, we do here to keep people awake for 50 hours is to constantly be moving. Like, we have a few classroom sessions. We just spend an hour talking about leadership, warrior leadership, what does it mean to be a leader? How do you develop that mastery to be a leader, a true leader? Next thing we're going to do is have them memorize a few uh, things. We have them memorize the Invictus poem from William Henley and also the SEAL ethos, the SEAL creed. So we're um, working on some sandbag drills, right? um, keeping them moving. And now we're going to come back out and we're going to start to apply some of those leadership skills and some of the mental toughness skills that we talked about earlier. Apparently we're going to be spending a lot of time in the ocean tonight. Who doesn't like long walks on the beach in the moonlight? I mean, come on. Couldn't ask for a nicer night. Up, uh, up. Uh, meeting around uh, Chelsea. Chelsea. Right, so five pull-ups, ten push-ups, fifteen air squats. Yeah. One minute every minute. You learn kind of what your limitations are and you find out that you can push yourself much farther than you thought possible.